Greetings and welcome back for another Music Theory Bite. In this video, we're going to cover the process for identifying scale degrees. Before you watch this video, you should check out my other videos on major scale degrees and minor scale degrees. You'll find those helpful as you start to apply the suggestions that I'm going to give you. How do you find these videos? Well, the easiest way is to subscribe to my channel. You'll find these and dozens of other music theory instructional videos that will help you as you learn to read, write, and understand the language of music. So if you're ready, let's begin. Musical dictation is the process of being able to write down the music that you hear. For a musician, it's a very important skill. First, it allows you to communicate your musical ideas to others. And second, it helps you to understand the music that you are hearing. Remember that when most people hear music, unless they have absolute pitch, their brain first hears a tonal center and then hears the musical sounds as scale degrees in relation to that tonal center. Each scale degree has a unique energy that wants to get back to the tonic pitch in a particular way. I cover that in my videos on major and minor scale degrees. What we're trying to do is learn to be able to recognize those unique energies that each scale degree has. We do that by hearing the scale degree patterns that fulfill each pitch's energy. We'll do this by what I like to call completing the melody. Let each pitch tell you where it wants to resolve. Chances are it will start one of those scale degree patterns and when you recognize it, complete the pattern in your head and then match up the pattern with the correct scale degree. So, let's see if we can try this. To do this, you're going to need a couple of things. First, you're going to need a way to set yourself up in a key. You can do this pretty easily by playing or singing a scale or a simple chord progression on an instrument. Second, you'll need a way to generate random pitches in that key. Doing this exercise with a friend where you take turns playing pitches for each other can be fun, so you might want to try that. If you're alone and working with uh, major mode, you can put yourself in C major on a piano and then close your eyes and hit random white keys and try to identify the scale degrees that go with those. There are also a few music skill drill websites and apps out there. I'm going to use an app that I created specifically for this purpose. It's part of uh, what I call Dr. C's ear training suite. It's available on the app store. The entire suite provides recognition drill exercises for major and minor scale degrees, intervals, triads, and seventh chords. It's available on the App Store, but there's only a version for iOS. I don't have an Android version, so sorry Android users. First, I need to get set up in the key. On this app, there's a button that plays a setup, so I'll go ahead and do that. It's probably a good idea to go ahead and sing all of my scale degree patterns now, just to make sure I get myself solidly in the key. You'll remember this melody if you watched my video on singing major scale degree patterns. So tonic is one, and then the pattern goes one, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, one, five, three, one, six, five, three, one, seven, one, seven, one, seven, one, five, one. Now I feel like I'm comfortably in the key and I'm going to play the scale degree that I need to identify. And that one's pretty easy. It matches up with one. So the answer is tonic. And sure enough, that's correct. I'll screenshot that just so that you see that I'm not making anything up here. Let's try another one, see if we get a harder one here. All right, so the pitch that I'm given is la. Notice I'm not putting any numbers on it yet. I don't really want to do that last part of sticking a label on it till after I've identified the scale degree pattern that goes with it. I know my tonic is one, and I know the pitch that I heard is la. So what I want to do is I want to hear where that pitch wants to go. It has a decent amount of energy and it wants to move down. La, la. That was a half step. That tells me something. La, la. And tonic is la. 
Well, that matches the pattern for scale degree 4. So I'll try that. Sure enough, I'm correct. Let's try another one. I have to hold on to tonic, so I want to make sure every time I do one of these, I'm singing my way back to that tonic scale degree. La. So listening to that, I hear a lot of energy in that scale degree, completing the melody. Where does that pitch want to take me? La. And tonic is la. So that sounds like the pattern for seven. And sure enough, correct again. La. It doesn't matter what octave it's played in, the energy of that scale degree is still the same. How does that want to get back to here? Sev one. La. So I hear the energy of that pitch. La. And it wants to get back down to tonic. La. That is one of my scale degree patterns. That's the pattern for two. So sure enough, correct again. Ah, there's a good one. La. So where's that pitch telling me it wants to go? Tonic is here. The pitch that I played was here. The energy of that pitch is fairly strong to want to go la la. Not quite tonic yet. How does that pitch want to get back to tonic? La la la. La 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 la. It's scale degree six. Sure enough. Correct again. Now eventually I want to get to the point where I'm not singing those things out loud. I'll probably take the first step of just singing the pitch I'm given and singing tonic. Tonic again. La, la. Hearing the pattern in my head. And that should be scale degree four. Correct. Four, three, one. So the process, la, la, two, four, three, one, there's a new one, la, la, three, two, one, sure enough, correct again. So with all of these, I'm hearing the pitch. I'm hearing the unique energy by completing the melody to the next pitch that starts out one of my scale degree patterns and I use that to get back to tonic. So it takes a little bit of thinking and a little bit of imagining what happens next with the melody. Now in minor it works the exact same way. I just need to get into a minor key so I'm going to go onto the minor scale degree trainer here on my app and I'm going to play the setup for the minor mode. And tonic is here. Again, I want to sing all of my scale degree patterns to make sure I'm comfortably in the key. One, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, one, Five, three, one, six, five, three, one, sev, six, five, three, one, sev, one, six, sev, one, five, one. All right, let's try a few of these. I know where tonic is, so let's see if we have some scale degrees I can identify. That one's easy. One. Da. Notice I'm putting it in a lower octave. I can sing it. Da. And I want to find out how that pitch is going to want to get back to. One. Ti. Do. That's the raised seventh scale degree. Sure enough. Correct. La. Da. Now, in the minor mode, this pitch sounds to me like it wants to keep moving up. Da, da, da. That is the pattern for the raised sixth scale degree. So let's see if I got that one right. And sure enough, there we go. I'm hearing the pitch. I'm hearing where the energy is telling me it wants to move. I'm letting it move that direction. And then I'm using that to identify the first part of a scale degree pattern. And then I complete the pattern to get myself back to tonic. Tito. 
Sure enough, correct again. Let's see if we can get something other than scale degree 7. Thumb, bum. There's my tonic. Thumb. That is my pattern for scale degree 2, correct? Bum. This one's a little tricky. It sounds like it wants to go down, completing the melody. Bum, 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 bum. That sure sounds like the lowered seventh scale degree. Sure enough, got it correct again. We'll do one or two more. That one's the raised seventh scale degree. And again, as you do this, you get better at it, and you get to the point that you don't need to sing them all out loud. But as you're first starting, it's a good idea to practice this by singing it. Was the pitch that I just had played on here. Bum, bum. That's where the pitch is telling me it wants to go. That's the beginning of my pattern for four. Four, three, one. Sure enough, correct again. So you heard me say earlier that this is something most of us do every time we hear music. We hear a musical sound, we intuit a tonal center, or in this case the tonal center is established before we hear the musical sound, so that makes it a little bit easier. So this should be a fairly easy skill, right? I make it look easy. Well, not so fast. I've been doing this for a long time. There's a big difference between doing this intuitively in your head, hearing what sounds right in a key like you normally do it, versus adding the step of putting the label on what you hear, which most people ordinarily don't do. If you think about the process of musical dictation, we have input. Are you hearing what's going on correctly? Most people don't have a problem with that unless there's some sort of physical problem with their ears. Next is processing, and that is understanding the music in the context of the tonal center that is either established or that we establish for it. The third step is oftentimes where we have problems between processing and output, putting a label on it and then communicating that label, in this case, to your teacher. That oftentimes is where we have some of the problems creep in because it's something that you haven't been doing for your whole life. You can intuitively hear music and hear whether it sounds right or wrong, but until you actually start trying to label what you hear, which is what musical dictation is, well, that's something that takes a little bit of time to develop. So, don't get discouraged, especially if it's not coming right away. It takes time to develop the skill, so practicing a little bit every day is a really great idea. It takes time to become good at this. I've been doing this, I've been teaching it for almost two decades now, and I still find that I need to practice. Every day when I'm hearing musical sounds, I'll stop and I'll say, what scale degree is that? When I'm doing dictation of any type, I'm always listening for scale degrees. So even though I might not be specifically practicing the dictation of individual scale degrees, when I'm listening to intervals, or chords, or melodies, what I'm really doing is I'm identifying component scale degrees. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please like, feel free to leave constructive comments below, and subscribe to stay on top of all the new videos as they are released. Until next time.